Welcome back, everybody. We have a, a guest with us here now, Dana Husted. She is the eSports director with Grandview University. And this is, we've, we've been talking about <laughs> this video gaming and how, how, what a big thing it is, uh, competitive-wise, mm -hmm. event-wise. Educational. <laughs> Educational, yes. As That's, well. So. Like, I think uh, kids uh, across the nation are going to their parents saying, see, I'm supposed to keep playing video games because right. I can I get can make scholarships yeah. to go to universities and right. continue to study this. Talk about this. What is e-gaming, e-sports, e-gaming, all the yeah. things that we're hearing about so much more these days? Okay, so e-sports in itself is just the online competitive video gaming world. It's organized. So we have people competing at, you know, collegiate level, high school level, semi-pro, amateur, and then the professional level. Just as you kind of see traditional sports, we kind of follow that similar model um, and we are just playing a different game. So we are playing the video games of League of Legends, Overwatch, you know, Rocket League, CSGO, all of these titles, but they can be played competitively and for money. Wow. And, and are there certain games, like obviously there's certain video mm -hmm. games that are more competitive in their own nature, uh, yeah. but how are those games chosen and why is this yeah. becoming such a huge thing? Well, I think it's because, one, looking at the generation that we have, you know, everybody is all about the technology. We want to be playing something. We want something to make us feel at home and with a community. And eSports does that. We have um, a really good following of, you know, they feel included and, and you have something that you can look forward to. Um, so eSports is just booming across the world, actually. Yeah. Um, North America is just kind of getting into the professional scene a lot more in the last few years. So it's really exciting to see because we're, we're touching on a lot of demographics and kids that might not like traditional sports and identify with that but this is where they can find a home and so, talk about it's yeah. more than just the game it, there's it a is. lot there's, there's a lot more that goes into it learning wise You're skill right. wise yeah. talk a little bit about let's that. help the parents yeah. out there so when their <laughs> kids are like okay yeah. you need to buy me more video give games it a, give it a little uh, bit more uh, let's go from the parent perspective because this mm -hmm. is more than just watching a screen and sure. pushing buttons sure so a lot of the students most times are involved in those stem fields this is about you know quick thinking problem solving teamwork and communication i can tell you from all of the traditional sports that i played as a college athlete as well and all growing up um, and a lot of the teams that I coached, eSports takes more problem solving and, and communication skills than a lot of those other games because you have split seconds to, to make a decision in these games um, and it's very difficult. So um, the parents sometimes don't necessarily understand all the skill that it does take in order to win a game. Um, each person in these games are a master at their own skills, just like you have basketball. Um, each person is really good at being a point guard or a forward. Uh, we have similar positions like that in gaming and you have to be able to represent your skills and, and master those. And, but it takes knowing science, technology, yes, math. Yes, all of those things, it, yes. Th they're all included in that. All included. And, and the students that are going to universities yeah. and uh, pursuing this, uh, what, are, what eventually is the outcome? What do they want to pursue for the rest yeah. of their career? So, so we really have a wide variety of student academic majors. I have some who are going to go be teachers, accountants, graphic designers. They want to be coaches, maybe in wow. fitness, or um, they might want to be a chef uh, with a potential professional team or semi-professional team. Um, you know, there's nothing that's telling them that they can't go and do these things because the esports industry is just booming with jobs right now. Um, and it's all just your regular day jobs, but it's now applied to this industry. Okay, so let's uh, cheerlead the fact that esports <laughs> is in our hometown <laughs> now. It is. Okay, Ooh, so it's really good. What, uh, we're selling out arenas, or what are we doing here locally uh, so, to support yeah, this? Yeah, locally, we actually run a varsity competitive program at Grandview where okay. we recruit athletes to come and play for us competitively titles of League of Legends, Overwatch, and Rocket League for the upcoming school year. We're going into our third year and we actually host events at our school as well to get the community involved, bring in those high school kids. We run our own tournament uh, every year in March on the first weekend okay. for $10,000. Wow! So collegiate teams from across the U.S. come here to play at Grandview University for that $10,000. Wow. Unbelievable. Tell, what, do, what does an event, what does that look like yeah. in an eSports? It's, it's, sure. it's a little different in a form of spectator perspective mm -hmm. and all around. It kind of give us a feel for what that's yeah. like. Well, it's just like going into a, a regular basketball stadium, right? Um, and you're watching the players play. We set up all of the computers. We make sure that they are either on a stage or in regular viewing area. And people are able to watch their games be projected onto a big screen. Um, there's commentators, just like you would have 
have for baseball and basketball and football. Somebody is shoutcasting the game to make it really exciting and, and you know, including the audience. Um, and then, you know, all the teams are going to be switching in and out when the game is over. And then we go to the next game, um, just like a regular tournament format you would in any other sport. Well, what got you interested in yeah. this? Um, I, I was introduced to eSports about five years ago, and I all of a sudden just saw it as a huge business opportunity. I knew that it was going to become a bigger industry than it, it already was. Um, so I said, why don't I get in on the ground floor? Um, and, and a friend introduced me to it, and honestly, it just kind of took off from there. I didn't see myself doing this at all in my in my life. Um, but eSports is, is really special, and we are doing something really great and pioneering something across the U.S. Um, as a it's just great. Talk, and how is it? Talk about how it's grown at the university yeah. level, mm -hmm. just from a student perspective. Right, right. So Grandview actually was the first uh, institution in Iowa to implement esports, as well as one of the first 15 in the nation, uh, also to wow. include scholarships as well. That was a really big deal to offer scholarships for esports yeah. athletes. Um, now we're starting to see institutions at you know 300 across the U.S. that have teams, and that could be at the varsity level or the club level. And we also want to highlight the fact because Grandview jumped on this, yeah. realizing it was going to become a huge thing. There's an esports arena at Grandview, which we people do. probably don't yeah. realize. Um, so obviously you have these tournaments going on, but if other people want to utilize this yeah. space, they're welcome to, correct? I bet, yeah. If you guys would like to inquire about birthday parties, corporate events, uh, hosting a team building activity, or yeah. even just a fun weekend with your friends, you let me know, uh, and I am more than happy to accommodate. We rent out our facility, and you can experience all of our 20 26 Omen by HP gaming stations and we have a projector area you can watch movies on that you can bring in some food feel free can, can I like play some? Mario Brothers on this <laughs> yes, thing, or, or what are we can. talking about? You absolutely I, well, can. Mario Kart, yeah. what, what can we do on this yes, thing? Anything? You can hook up whatever games you'd like to to our projector, um, and then also play whatever games you want on our on our PCs. Is it something wow. you can do? It seems like the ones that are really good at, there's just a natural, for me, I'm terrible at video games, but is it something I could get better at? I you mean, could get better, it, it is. It's just all about the practice um, and studying the game if you really want to get good at it, and that's what these kids do. You know, they are students of the the game and that's what we try to, to preach you know making sure that they are gaining those life skills as well as the the competitive skills in their game okay yeah, uh, uh, I, I, my mind is still <laughs> just trying to know, wrap around arenas, all of this. You know, come and watch it, coming from right, a day of big, playing Miss Pac-Man <laughs> on the big device to the fact that you can now get scholarships and careers. You're right. Uh, based off this is incredible. You know what else is incredible is Grandview, and you have jumped on yeah. and saying this needs to be here local as well. So if people want to reach out mm -hmm. to you from everything you've talked about today. How can right. they do so? You can reach me at my email um, dhusted at grandview.edu. Look me up on the Grandview directory. Okay. Um, or give me a call at five one. Five two six three two eight eight nine, and I am more than happy to get you guys information. If you would like to be a sponsor for the upcoming year, we have a lot of companies in the area that are always looking into that as well. Okay, yeah. and you'll have events that are coming up that maybe people, if they want to yeah. kind of get a taste of what right. you guys are doing over there, to come and watch, right? Right. So the goal is once a month we are going to have weekly. Uh, uh, smash tournaments as well as our big tournament and clinic in March on the first weekend. Okay. I see yeah, team building opportunity <laughs> yeah. here. I think this sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining us Thanks today. Thanks for having me. Great information. Yeah, Very wonderful.